both want to talk about Matrix, so I'll go ahead and bring that up because I've got a, an article ready to, to bring up for that. Not that there's necessarily uh, a lot to have an article about, <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a trailer, so it is what it is. But uh, this is from The Hollywood Reporter, and uh, it is dated uh, today, September 9th, uh, 2021, by Ryan Parker. And the, the, the headline reads, The Matrix Resurrections Stuns with first trailer. The Warner Brothers franchise installment will be released theatrically and on HBO Max on December 22nd. Kind of interesting because, of course, um, Warner Brothers is releasing all of their films this year, both uh, theatrically and HBO Max, and of course, this film is going to qualify, even though it's coming in at December 22nd, so it'll be on both. Uh, article says the Matrix Resurrections dropped its first trailer Thursday morning, and the tease was eye-popping with ast astonishing visuals that fans have come to expect from the beloved sci-fi franchise. You know, I just have to say, I have to take a step back. Doesn't that sound like shill reporting to you? I mean, it's just, <laughs> it doesn't sound genuine. It sounds like an advertisement. It doesn't sound like, like reporting. What do you think, Dave? Well, to me, the most interesting thing that they did actually was in the lead up to the first trailer, because if you went to the website, it was kind of neat because you got to pick your experience and they had the, the red pill and the blue pill. Oh, okay. And based upon which one of the pills that you picked, you got a different version of a teaser for the trailer. You got the standing character for Morpheus, and that had more the um, the the real world stuff. And then if you picked the blue one, you got more of the Matrixy stuff with Neil Patrick Harris. And it was timed out so that whenever you picked it it would say the only thing that matters is the time. And it would tell you the time that you're actually watching the trailer. So that was, that was really cool. So I felt like that was very inventive. Um, it was very kind of, you know, you're in the matrix kind of thing. Um, but I could see what you're saying, Eric, because to be honest with you, um, while I liked the trailer and I am, I am intrigued and I will definitely go see this movie when it comes out. Um, because I, the, the original Matrix movie for me is one of the best action movies probably you ever committed to film. I mean, the first Matrix movie to me is is that great. I remember it just at that time in my life, too. I was very heavily involved with martial arts when the original Matrix movie came out. That whole scene with Morpheus and Neo, spoiler alert, if, I don't can't imagine you haven't seen the original Matrix. But that original scene with Neo and Morpheus fighting in the dojo was absolutely incredible. I love that line. It's like, oh, you think that's air you're breathing now? So that whole scene to me was incredible as someone who was so heavily involved in martial arts at the time. Um, so I love the original Matrix movie. And his new trailer is great. This, it's interesting because this new trailer to me at times I think is almost more polished than the original Matrix movie was. But I don't know if it's as astounding visually speaking as the the original matrix trailer really puts you on your heels because you it seemed so real yet they were doing completely unbelievable crazy things and then you you had to know well, what is the matrix then what is it i don't understand what i'm seeing what is this the bullet time thing was new like all that stuff was so groundbreaking that you had to go to the movie theater to find out what the matrix is my concern with this movie, in all honesty, is even though it looks like it's at times better shot, there's some more artistic choices being made, and it, it'll probably be good. I, I want to see it. My fear is I don't understand how this can be as mind-bending as the original was, because that's what the original is. I mean, what do you think, Eric? No, I, I think you... I don't know how you feel about the other two Matrix movies, um, but I was disappointed. Uh, I, I'm not going to sit here and poo-hoo the original Matrix in any way because it was groundbreaking. Um, I was just like anybody else when I saw that in the theater. I was mesmerized, at, you know, from beginning to end, and and thought it was a, a fantastic movie. But in a lot of ways, I, I feel like it's the case of of a franchise that never really knew where it was supposed to be going, and 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 just kept trying to do the same thing over and over again, bigger and quote unquote better. Bigger is not always better. It doesn't work. 
Um, and I just don't think that there was enough meat um, in, in terms of the story and in that world of what of what they had envisioned uh, originally when they when they came up with this. There just wasn't enough meat left on the bone to really go anywhere or do anything with it. To me, it just started to get by the by the last move. You're like, what the hell is even going on? And I feel like that right now with the trailer, what the hell is going on? Because aren't these characters dead? <laughs> so like, it's, why are they in this movie? So I, I, I'm, again, I'm not going to take anything away from the original Matrix. It is like, like that, like a, like a cornerstone, you know, in terms of, 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 of groundbreaking, groundbreaking cinematography. Um, there's just no doubt about that. It, you know, they, they, they basically perfected, if not invented, certain techniques that are still used to you know, today and we take for granted. So, you know, it, it has that same sort of pedigree as like, you know, like Star Wars or something in that regard. And I did think that the first, uh, the first story was interesting. And I thought there were all sorts of little things that they did in there, you know, like with deja vu and all these little things that, you know, you, you, you have in your head that you're like, well, why is it that way? And it's like, oh, it's because you're in the matrix. It's because it's not real. You know, that kind of a thing. I, I, I thought that was inventive. But they, I don't, I, I really felt they just had nowhere to go with it after that, um, and I thought the other two movies were were just not impressive to me. They were just standard action fare. You know what I mean? You could just insert action movement, action movie here, especially in the post Matrix era. And when I say the Mat post Matrix era, I mean the first Matrix because everybody else started to copy that, including everybody that did spoofs of it. I mean, it got spoofed like crazy to the point that it was like that whole twirl around thing was just like. It was almost it almost became laughable because it was so parodied and it was so overused and all that kind of stuff because it was just like a cornerstone of the pop culture at the time. Uh, but but I'm not seeing anything in this trailer that really like says to me groundbreaking and astounding and and I need to be a shill and all that kind of stuff like these guys are. I know there's a lot of people excited about it, but again, I'm still sitting here like, aren't these people dead? <laughs> so how the hell are they in the movie? That's where I'm at right now. I'm still there. I'm just like, I'm not past that. I'm like, aren't they dead? Why are they in this movie? Well, and and the thing for me too is like Lawrence Fishburne did not come back. And one of the best characters in all of the Matrix movies actually is Morpheus. Like Morpheus is, is you know, Lawrence Fishburne's line delivery, his portrayal oh, yeah. of that character... Um, he has potentially one of the most powerful fight scenes, not just the not the dojo scene, but the scene where he actually tries to sacrifice himself for everyone and actually for Neo, where he fights Agent Smith. Yeah. Um, that yeah. scene is so powerful That's and a great the choreography scene. is great. Like and and so for me. That's the, the the big kind of shocker for me is like, well, if Trinity is still alive. How is Morpheus gone? Like, should Morpheus be back too? Like, it, I, I'm a little, I don't, it, and you know, there's a lot of things about that first Matrix. And movie by the way, too. I'm going to say it. Don't you feel that that they're kind of doing like a Morpheus light thing in the trailer? Uh, it's yeah. very obvious uh, down to the visuals, same race, yeah. he's bald, very similar look, just younger. I'm like, come on. It almost feels like just insert black guy here. And that's pandering, well, you know what I mean? That's that's I, that, that to me is, in terms of all the racial sensitivity that's out there, how is that not called out? How is that not called out by anybody? I mean, I, I just think that's crazy. I just, because it because it glares at me when I see it. I'm just all like, come on, come on, seriously? Well, and the the thing for me why couldn't is, we gender swap or 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 race swap that one you know at least to make it different because now it just seems like you're just you're just you're just pandering at that point you know well and i was i was going to say that that to me is is the probably the most questionable choice just because it, it it's going to it's going to really hinge upon the story because it, at times the trail looks like we're going to relive the events of the first movie. So if you do it in the right way, if you have an interesting hook, it'll work with the Matrix because that's the deja vu concept is so strong. And at the end of the last Matrix movie, there is an opening that could potentially lead us to where this movie might be starting. But that being said, I feel like the absence of Morpheus is so overwhelming for me in this trailer that, that it's huge. That, 
that that's the it's biggest huge. thing because the, to me, besides, you know, Keanu Reeves is great as Neo. I don't take anything away from Neo. Neo is really great, but the two characters I love the most actually from the first Matrix movie is Trinity and Morpheus. They were the two biggest surprises for me. And also, too, when you realize that they don't have the abilities that Neo potentially has, they're also in the most jeopardy in, in the three films. They're the characters that, you know, even though they can do these amazing things, they take one wrong step and, and they could die. And, and so for me, they were the most interesting standout characters in, in the films. They're the ones I was most curious about. See, the one I really liked was Agent Smith, and he's not in this either. Yep. And that's that's something that really, yep. to Agent me, is Smith like, is I don't also, see how, this, how yep. this can even work, you know, at this point. So, I, I'm almost like, with, all, with, the, with, with the way that there's so many reboots these days, so many remakes, I'm almost like, why didn't they just go that route and just completely recast it and just redo it? Why is Keanu Reeves in, in it? Well, that, that's what I'm saying. It's going to really depend upon the story and the choices they've made. Because there is the potential there could be an interesting mind-bending twist that really works and fits within the Matrix universe. But then I also feel like, too, in all honesty, there, are, there also is the potential that this could just be a huge miss. You know, just a big misstep. Um, like, for example, to me, the most interesting part of this entire trailer, I hate to say this, is the scene where Neo's in the elevator and they're all looking at their cell phones. Because a cell phone today versus what a cell phone was when the original Matrix movie was made are two completely different concepts. And they're completely different things. Like just those devices are such different things. And that's where I'm like going, okay, there might be something interesting that could be said about contemporary culture, connectivity to the internet. Like, like there's a lot of room to ask interesting questions and present interesting ideas that works within the context of the matrix and our modern society and even pop culture. Like, like there's, there's a lot of room to say some stuff, but the question is when I watch this trailer, I'm like going, there's a lot of potential here, but as we've seen with a lot of things recently, potential doesn't immediately equal success. Potential doesn't immediately equal great movie. So that's my concern is that when I look at this, I'm like going potential, where the hell is Morpheus? And, and, and that's all I could think of watching this trailer is where the hell is Morpheus? And yeah, yeah there's a lot of interesting ideas, but and agent Smith, where's agent Smith again. And so it's like, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to say for me, I'm just not that impressed by the trailer. I don't think that there's anything really new here. I think it's confusing. I think the whole brand is kind of weird at this point. That's just me. Well, there you go. I, I'm excited to see it, but I'm a little nervous because like I said, that first movie is so great. And that first trailer for that movie was so great. And there was just so many interesting things from that first movie because of the time in which that movie came out and because the time in which that movie existed, like it was just, it was a moment in time. And I'm just not sure that you can just rebottle that moment in time and give us that same experience. I, I just, when you look at the clothes, like just the style, just the clothing choices, the the weird retro tech in a contemporary society, like I don't see that stuff in this trailer. This looks to me like it's got more poignant cinematography and better atmospherics, and like it's 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 an upgrade visually at times in this trailer. But beyond that, I'm just not sure if this is going to be able to capture that moment in time that the original matrix movie was yeah but i'll see it i'm just gonna guess no <laughs> i'm just gonna go <laughs> out on the limb and say no and just remember you know all that great setup for the original matrix movie and what we ended up with was a big long dance scene so okay. well and i like <laughs> let, let me just say the first movie is classic i i i enjoyed the other two movies you know, that came after that finished out the makes trilogy, but all the crazy conversations I had with my friends after that first movie, 
And there was that psychology of the matrix book that people were reading and dissecting. Like for all that build up, the last two movies were, were pretty much action movies. And, and I don't feel like they really <laughs> explored the potential. And that's what I'm saying. It's like this new film, maybe that's what this new film will do. Maybe it will get into the minutia and, and it'll be a more cerebral film with great action sequences in it. But I don't know. The oh, jury's yeah. out. The jury's out. <laughs> 2021. Yeah, I, I believe that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just way too cynical at this point. So, yeah. But we'll see. I, I guess I could be proven wrong. I think some people are going to like it regardless, just because they haven't seen The Matrix in a long time and they're just happy about a new Matrix movie and they like Keanu Reeves. 